Welcome to another Mandala video. Uh, you see here everything we're going to use today. It's going to be kind of a... I want, I want to create kind of a golden -y feeling uh, Mandala, if that makes any sense. So yeah, before we start though, if you want to see this full tutorial without editing, go over to Patreon because there it will be from start to finish. Um, not here on my channel because then it will be probably way too long but let's kind of start with what we're going to use today for colors i'm going to use probably but i'm not sure burnt umber honey brown glorious gold and toffee maybe i'll also use a little bit of white but i'm not sure yet you'll also need a nail stylus tools uh, I have the dotting rods from Happy Dotting Company. I have a six-point Mandela stencil. And I have here a nine-inch wood um, round that I got on AliExpress. They also sell these on Amazon, but I got mine on AliExpress. So I will link a bunch down below in the description box for you. Yes, I am going to use this stencil. And I'm kind of lining it up with the center dot that I have here. Then I'll take my chalk pencil and because these are pretty wide, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to um, use the beginning of the guide marks. So now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to line up all the points. The opposite points uh, that is with uh, also the center dot. So now is I'm going to measure out uh, five millimeters. Next, I'm going to make my circular guide marks with my compass. And I just like to have a lot of guide marks. Okay. Now this is also the first time that I'm doing a circular one. Because usually I make square. Or I use square uh, canvases or, or boards. But I thought this would be fun. So let's move this to the side and mix up some colors. I have this. What I also want to grab is uh, my Liquitex Gloss Gel Medium. Um, but we're going to start with uh, Honey Brown. I'm kind of going to fill it up halfway. I want to make this a hint darker. I could use black, but I just want to have a gradient of colors. Then let's see how it translates to this one. Yes, I want to have it a little bit darker. And I'm also going to add a little here. So let's use the regular one in this top. Okay, and then here, in this one, I'm going to add the honey brown. And then grab toffee. I am grabbing my 15.5 centimeter or no 15 and a half dotting rod. I'm going to do uh, the glorious gold as a center dot. Add paint so that it will be nice and plum. Then I'm grabbing. Uh, the smallest stylus tool that I have, which is a 0 0.8. And I'm going to start with I'm going to start with the darkest shade and the 0 0.8 millimeter. And I'm going to make a ring of dots. Okay. 
And I'm trying to get them even and not have them touch. I don't know, but the first ring, the smallest one, it always feels so nerve-wracking. And if you want to um, buy any of my art or have a custom piece, that is all possible. In the description box, uh, there will be a link to my Etsy store for uh, pre-made stuff that I have there. And if you want to have a custom piece, just... Uh, give me a DM on Instagram. Because that's actually the easiest, the easiest place, I think. So what is everyone up to? Have you ever made a mandala? Let me know. Let's go to the smaller end of the pink tool and one shade lighter. And I'm going to go in between the dots of the previous row. Now I'm going to go to the other side, which is a 1.5 millimeter and the honey brown. So the color that I didn't mix anything into. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the large end of the white tool, which is a 2 millimeter and one shade lighter. I think I'm going to do some micro dotting now because everything is dry. I'm going to grab the glorious gold and a micro dotting tool for 0.8 millimeters. I think I'm also going to do those. So I'm going to start here and then do that. So basically walking the dots from the outside in. That way, you just get a very nice gradient between the smaller dots. I think I'm going to do one more round with, let's grab a two and a half millimeter. Which is the largest size of the blue tool. And I'm going to go to the lightest color. I'm just going to do one more row. Going to micro dot between those as well with the gold again and the 0 0.8. Okay, with a four millimeter and the <clears throat> darkest color, and I'm going to keep it on the inner part of this guide mark. And I'm going to skip one. No, we're going to do every guide mark. Okay. 
I'm going to go again to the micro tool and I'm going to start with the bigger size, which is a 1.5. With the 1.5, I am going to make a dot above or below, just I don't know how you look at this, uh, each of the dots that I just made. Then I'm switching to the small size and I'm going to place and drag. So I'm going to place my tool and then just drag it around the dot without lifting it from the board. Okay, now I am going to go to the this one, which is the um, shade Honey Brown. And again, I'm going to go to that 1.5 millimeter. And I am going to make three dots. One on either guide, side of the guide mark and then one slightly above. So five millimeter and not the darkest shade, but one shade lighter. And I'm going to place a dot. Basically here at that cross. cross. So here we have a guide mark. Here we have one and here we have one. And I'm placing it on the one in between those two. Does that make sense? I hope so. I'm going to go to Glorious Gold again. So with a 1.5, I'm making a top dot. So let's do that first. I'm actually going to switch to one millimeter. And then I'm going to walk the dots. With the, I think I'm going to go to the lightest color. And the one millimeter. I'm again going to make three dots. Not too big, I think. Just as a little accent. I'm going to do brush strokes. And I'm going to go to the triple zero. I, this is a set that I bought on AliExpress. So I will link it. For you guys, I think I'm going to go from dark to light. So I'm going to go to the darkest color. A 1.5 millimeter. And I'm going to walk the dots halfway. So basically in the narrow part of the petal that I just made. Okay, then with a brush, same brush I just used to the, well, one shade lighter than that one. I'm going to do another brush stroke. I'm going to do another uh, row of those with, uh, is this a two millimeter? I think so. And then again, one shade lighter. With a five millimeter and the darkest brown, I'm going to make four dots. I'm going to start the petals end on this guide mark. The first dot is going to go here on the cross border. And then the second one is going to go, I'm kind of aiming between these two guide marks on either side of the vertical guide mark. And then the last one will end on this guide mark. Um, more brush strokes. I'm going to go up in size though to the double zero of this set. I can fit quite a few brush strokes here. So I'm going to go from dark to light again, but I'm going to start. Where am I going to start with the gold? Oh, I can. I'm actually going to switch back to the smaller uh, brush and the gold. I'm going to make the first brush stroke. Okay. <laughs> 
then I'm going to go to one brush uh, bigger uh, what did I say again from dark to light so I'm going to go not to the darkest brown but the second darkest brown it's going to be a little bit shorter then the shade honey brown and a little shorter You know the drill, one shade lighter, and again a little shorter. And then the last set of brush strokes will be the lightest color. These will also be shorter, and you kind of need to watch the space that you have here. So they will be shorter, they will come right up to the guide mark. But I want a space between these two, and it will come right up to the guard mark here. So that when I connect them, it will finish off the petal nicely. With a three millimeter and the gold, I want a big dot here. I'm really loading up that dot. And then with the other side of the tool, and careful not to get my hand in wet paint. I'm going to pull it down. Like that. Okay, let me try something. With the three and the darkest color, I'm going to make a dot between those two petals just above this guide mark and then I'm going to pull it towards the edge of the board and stop at that guide mark then I'm going to go one shade lighter and I'm going to make a dot on this side of the swoosh and a dot on the other side of the swoosh and then I'm going to pull those down as well. Like that. And then I'm going to go one lighter. Same tool, one shade lighter. The lightest color, still the three millimeter, kind of trying something. And then drag it that way. Following the guide mark that is below. So dot there. It's actually quite cute. I think I want another one. I think I want another one going like this, so a little bit shorter. I like that. I think it's cute. I think I just want a dot here, the lightest color. I actually really like how it's looking now and I'm kind of debating if I want to have a ring of dots here or not. I'm not sure yet, so I'm just going to let it dry. 
for now because if I put the row of dots here and I don't like it, if the rest of the paint is dry, it's easier to clean off. So I'm going to let it dry for now. I have removed the guide marks with a baby wipe and actually yesterday I got a new paint in from Deco Art, which is the color Rich Espresso and I really want to use this one as well. You don't have to. I actually really love how it is looking right now, but I kind of want to try this color as well. So let's put it in the little tubby. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I have a three millimeter here and I'm going to Toot toot these. Oh, that's pretty. Shall I do those as well? Sure, why not? I want to do them in the center here. You could also do this with gold if you don't have this color. Or with the darker matte brown. And we're also going to do that on these. This, this is it. It's done. I really love how it looks. And I'm going to let it dry, then varnish it, put uh, magnets on the back, and then it's ready to hang in my kitchen on my fridge. This is such a pretty color palette. So, so pretty. So let me know if you are going to recreate this. If you want to have one of these for yourself, in a little bit better quality wood or just this color palette, send me a DM on Instagram to order a custom piece. If you are going to recreate it, tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your version of it. Thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.